Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I got my second video. This time on my Rawlings Purple Fur Pro 17 ICC. Um, for if you see my little fat lazy dog in the background. Um, but yeah, so I've had this for about two weeks now, and I've got some good use for it. Use with it. Um, can start to see some wearing, not like wearing, just some black marks from the ball in the pocket and in the web. It's hard to see, but not very good lighting. Uh, when I first got it, after I timed the rest, of when I first got it, it was like that. But then when I timed the rest, it was like that. So now, that's how far I can get. Um, been using it nonstop. I just really want to break it in. Um, plays more like 11 and a half. Not really. Doesn't really play 11 and 3 fourths, which I like. Uh, I love the wing tip. It's really cool, I think. Mm, yeah. Totally sets up on the side. Uh, pretty flat palm. ID number 200. This is all camel with uh, camel stitching and I don't even know what color that is. Brown lacing, I guess. And then red Rawlings up here. Right there. That looks really good. I never thought I'd actually get this glove. Um, sorry guys. I'm really surprised. Wow. Uh, I was going to get the Rich Tan Pro Preferred, but I decided to get this. Um, I might get the Rich Tan Pro Preferred still. Just depends what they're if I want it, really want it. It's pretty cool though. Uh, tuna pink. I think that'd be cool to go with tuna pinky on the wingtip. But I don't want to. Sorry, it's a heavy ball. It's about 10 ounce. Almost swallows the ball. Uh, I untied these and I'm not really just going to straight them. straighten them because then they get in the way. And then I untie them because whenever I dove or something, uh, they just come up, came undone like halfway. And then so I just stopped. Uh, I'm going to keep these tied, the pinky, because it's pretty bad lace right here. But that doesn't really matter at all. It just needs to be able to hold the insert in place. And then the web lace is pretty decent. Like this is really good lace right here. Nice thick. This is not as thick or not as soft, but it's still nice. Uh, it hasn't really stretched too much. It's stretched a little bit more than that. Um, but yeah, I uh, let the fingers widen up. Um, I don't really tie my gloves, I just don't do that, something dries, I just don't like it, uh, makes the glove feel weird to me, I mean, I like doing it to the heart of the hide, my heart of the hide, but I also don't use it then, so I just leave it loose, uh, I've never tied my preferred fingers, never, and I won't, you should see, uh, the finger up here is pretty wide, uh, it closes more like this now, where it eases the fingers more. Here's my dog. Eases the fingers more than the fingers move more than anything else, which is fine. Uh, I prefer to have a really loose glove because I want to have a really wide one too. So that's why these aren't wide enough yet. They the axes are plenty wide. It's just these this lace back here is usually my problem. It's not very wide back there. That's pretty wide. So I just kind of pull on them. I them with a mallet. The lining is wrinkling in here, but that's fine. You can't really feel it. And once it gets sweaty, it's going to harden up. Not be so soft and vulnerable to, like, all these, like, to, um, when you can lift it up. Uh... It's just a great glove. I like the form. I'm trying to flare the pinky a little bit more in the thumb. Not much though. 
not really flare, just kind of bend it out more, like, oops, like that, so then it's out, and then this I'm going to try to, the pinky's really stiff on this glove, the thumb isn't that stiff, uh, but yeah. It's just a great glove. Definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. Just give you a look at it. I love the wingtip too. That looks really good. So yeah, that's really it. Nothing much. It's just a little update on it. Um, hope you liked the video, comment, like, subscribe, and have a good day.